Hello everyone and welcome back to the Amped Software YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through the latest update of Amped 5. And what an exciting update this is going to be. The first thing we've done is we've completely overhauled our GUI, bringing a fresh and modern look to the interface of our flagship product Amped 5. And if that isn't enough on its own, I'm also going to be introducing two brand new filters that we're incorporating into the update, as well as some other changes we've made to pre-existing filters. When you first open 5 after the update, you'll be greeted with this brand new, fresh and modern look to the software. Though 5 looks very different, be rest assured that all the changes we've made are superficial. None of the behaviors or the interaction between user and software have changed. The changes we've made are completely graphical in that we've updated the icons, we've updated some of the tools and how some of the graphics look within the software. However, we did add one functionality to the interface and that is accessing the program options button from this icon here. So you can use this to quickly go into your program options and adjust them as needed. And if we take a look at the program options now, here you'll see the new color styles that have all been updated with this modern appearance. You can see that we've got the light, mid-tone and dark color styles. I'm going to open the dark color style for you now just so you can have a quick look at what that looks like as well. So here is our brand new dark theme. Just like I said before for the light theme, we've completely modernized the GUI and given it a fresh new look, but the interactions between the user and the software remain the same as before. As we go through the update video, you'll see the GUI more in all its glory, and I hope you're looking forward to exploring it yourselves. We're gonna now move on to the first new filter being introduced into the software in this update which is going to be the Smart Adjust filter. The Smart Adjust filter is the newest filter that's going to be in our Adjust category. The filters that sit in the Adjust category adjust pixel values to increase contrast or brightness within an image or video. The Smart Adjust primary focus is to be able to balance out uneven illumination within images while mitigating the halo artifact that can be introduced by other filters. But the filter is so powerful and impressive, they can be used in numerous different situations. To highlight how powerful this filter is, I'm going to compare it with some other filters within the software that we traditionally showed during the training. Traditionally, when we're going through the training, we will come across different images with different problems and we have specific filters to solve those particular problems. But when testing the Smart Adjust, we found that actually this filter can tackle all these different problems within one filter. And I'm gonna compare the Smart Adjust with the traditional filters. So first I wanna compare it against levels. So here I've got the original image, which is just a very dark image. And I've applied the levels like I would in the training to show you how you can brighten that image up. Well, that same image, if we use the Smart Adjust, you can see it does the job just as well. Moving on from this, the levels adjustment then, I'm gonna now show you an example of where we use the Clahe. So the Clahe filter is as well built to balance out uneven illumination. If I show you the result of the Clahe, you can see that it manages to balance out that uneven illumination but it also introduces some noise in doing so. Whereas if we compare this to the result that we get from the Smart Adjust, you can see that the Smart Adjust does a much better job and doesn't introduce any of that noise that we see in the Clahe. And finally, I wanna show you a situation where we've got a white balance issue. So again, here's our image with that white balance issue. We've got a red tint. Traditionally, we would use the white balance filter to balance that out. But again, using the Smart Adjust, we're able to fix that situation. Finally, the last thing I want to point out about the Smart Adjust is that it is completely customizable. So you can see that we've got the different modes 
between equalization, brighten and darken. So depending what your starting point is with your image, you can choose the mode that you want to use as well as fine tuning that even further using the strength and the edge threshold sliders. So the Smart Adjust is going to be there to use for lots of different scenarios. I definitely recommend you try it out in your future cases. The second new filter that I'm introducing in this update is a brand new updated macro box filter. The new macro box filter is a significant upgrade to the old one. And I'm going to show you three reasons as to why that is. The first reason then is that our new macro box filter is going to work on H.264 video. So here you can see I've loaded in a H.264 codec video and I'm going to go to my verify tab and go to the macro box. The second part, and you may have noticed why this is also an improvement, is that the macro box are instantaneously overlaid onto the original video. In the previous version of the macro box filter, you had to create an intermediate file. You had to transcode the video with the macro box information overlaid on top. And this caused some issues because the new video would have different frame types to what the macro box was showing because it was a transcoded file that was created. So now that we can show the macro box on top of the original file, there's going to be no confusion between the frame type that you're looking at and the macro box that have been shown. So here you can see I'm looking at the iframe at the beginning of the video and we're taking a look at the intro macro box on that frame. As I progress through the video, you'll see that we're now going through the P frames and seeing the predicted macro blocks. The third reason why this filter is an upgrade is that we've added a new type of analysis to the macro box and this is the quantization perimeter analysis. Using this filter you can now quantify the amount of compression that's happening within each macro block by going to the show quantization parameter value you'll see that there's numerical values now and these indicate how much compression is happening between each of the macro box on your video file. Using the macro box is an important and crucial step to analyzing video. So I hope this update excites you and you're looking forward to taking a look at the new macro box filter. The next part of this update video is an update to a pre-existing filter and that's our much beloved annotate filter. Within this update, we've added a brightness and contrast adjustment to the magnify tool. If I go and make a magnified area now on this video, you'll see within the magnify settings, we have access now to the contrast and the brightness sliders. So I can increase both the contrast and the brightness of my magnified area to improve the image quality in that particular area. The final part to this update video is the introduction of a highly sought after feature, which is batch convert DVR. From this update, you'll be able to convert multiple proprietary videos by simply dragging and dropping those videos into five. Here, I've just got two videos I'm gonna bring in. Both of them are proprietary and both require conversion. As I drag and drop them, we'll be greeted by our usual information that they need to be converted. But after clicking OK, because I've brought in more than one video, it's going to bring up the batch convert DVR interface. Here, you'll see all the usual features that you would get in convert DVR but now we have the ability to add multiple videos. And once you've configured this as you would, you can just click OK, and those files are gonna be batch converted together. Here you can see that the conversions worked for both of those files. We have our original .exe container that contained four different streams that have all been stream copied into their own containers, as well as the second proprietary video that was also stream copied. This has been sought after for a very long time within 5 
I'm sure everyone's excited to be able to quickly process their videos within Vive.